Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can crack the technical round of any company. Also this video is a part of my placement preparation playlist which is all about how to crack your dream placement. I will give a link to it in the description, it will also be on the corner card. So do check it out and let's get to the video. So a technical round or a technical interview is quite different from a coding interview. Because in a coding interview you are given a coding problem and you have to solve that in front of the interviewer. But a technical round is a test of all your technical skills. So it's a test of your programming language skills, to your DSS skills, to your CS fundamentals and sometimes they even ask you puzzles and obviously they ask you about your projects and your resume and things like that. So let's see in this video how you can crack your technical round of any company. So I've covered this in three parts. The first part is everything that you need to learn. Second part is how you can learn all that. And the third part is what to do before the interview and how to like articulate yourself in the interview. Okay, so let's get into it one by one. So the first part, like I said, is everything that you need to learn. So the first thing is that you need to learn one programming language. So you can learn any pro programming language, but I highly suggest either learn C++ or learn Java. So C++ is heavily used in problem solving. So C++ is something that is heavily used in problem solving and Java is also used in problem solving as well as it's also an industry level language. So it's used in the software industry quite a lot. So you can learn either C++ or Java and if you have time even both. But you need to have minimum one programming language in your skill set. Okay? And then people ask me should we learn C? Should we learn C? So I've seen a few companies ask programming questions on C but not a lot of questions ask from C. So C is optional. If you feel like you have time you can learn C. But absolutely you need to have knowledge of one programming language either C++ or Java. Okay? Then you need to have knowledge of BSA. Okay, data structures and algorithm, that is something which is very important because in the technical round sometimes you might be asked to code a problem or you might be asked some problems from a particular data structure or things like that. So you need to have knowledge of DSA and you need to have some problem solving skills. Okay, and then obviously you need to have a good resume and in that you need to have some good projects. So what happens in the technical round is that the interviewer has your resume pulled up and he asks you questions from your resume. So you need to have a good resume and you need to know everything that you've put in your resume and you need to have some great projects and you need to know everything that you've done in your projects. Okay. And the next thing is CS fundamentals. Okay. So you need to have good knowledge of CS core CS subjects. Okay. Which is, which are called CS fundamentals. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but CS fundamentals, that is again very important. Then you have system design, which is low priority because it's not very important, but still I've seen a few companies ask some very basic system design questions in the technical round. So if you have time you can learn some system design, it's not high priority but some companies do ask. And likewise there's puzzles which is again low priority. So some companies ask puzzles, basic puzzles like logical puzzles, aptitude puzzles in the technical round. But again these are low priority, these are optional. If you have time you can do them. Okay. Once you have an understanding of what you need to learn, once you, have the, once you have an understanding of the skills that you need, next thing is how you can learn them. So starting with the programming language, you need to learn either C++ or Java. So you can learn on Tutorials Point or you can learn on Java T Point. Both are great websites and even any other website if you like, you can learn from there. But the idea is to be proficient with the syntax, be good with the syntax of the language, be good with the library of the programming language and be good with the inbuilt function, inbuilt functions. Because the interviewer might ask you about the inbuilt functions, about the library of whatever language you're using. And Java has collection framework, okay, which is like the standard uh, library kind of. Java has collections, C++ has STL. Okay, so if you're learning Java, make sure that you learn collections. If you're learning C++, make sure that you learn STL. Okay, so be clear with the syntax, the library and the inbuilt functions. Okay, once you've learned all that, Next thing to do is learn DSA and solve problems. Okay, so for solving problems, you only need two websites, which are Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks. Okay, so first learn the theory of the data structures or algorithm, like lead, linked list, strings, arrays, binary search tree graph, whatever it is, learn the theory, learn the implementation, then solve problems. So for solving problems, Lead Code has by tag problems. So for linked list, they have problem. For dynamic programming, they have problem. Likewise, for Geeks for Geeks, by tag they have problems or array strings for all tags they have problems solve problems from there okay and make sure to solve enough problems that you're confident and this will also help you in your coding interview okay so the idea is to solve enough problems that you're confident with your problem solving skills okay next thing that you need is development 
in order to create a good projects for your resume. So you need to learn some development. So you can learn a lot of things. You can learn machine learning and create a project. You can learn data science and create a project. You can learn blockchain and create a project. There's a lot of things, but I highly suggest to you either learn Android development or web development. And even in this, I highly suggest learn web development because web development is something which is pretty much in demand all the time. Almost every company has a need of web developer. Okay. So if you learn web development, then that will give you an edge over the other candidates. But again, you can learn anything and then you can create a project, but I highly suggest learn web development. So whatever you learn, whatever development you learn, create a good project in that and put it in your resume. Now, one cheat code for this, one cheat code for this is go on Udemy and buy a course on Udemy. Like uh, if you want web development, go on Udemy, search full stack web development course, buy it, learn from the course and create a project along with the course. So Udemy courses has great projects. You can buy a course and then learn the course and make a project along with it. But make sure that your project is a little bit different. It's not the exact same. So this is a cheat code. You can use Udemy. If you don't want to use Udemy, then you can learn online on YouTube. So to mention some channels, you can learn from Code with Harry. So Code with Harry is a great channel. You have Telusco, you have Amigos Code. There's a ton of channels which make videos on development. You can learn from there or you can learn from Udemy, but have one great project that you'll put in your resume. Next thing, like I said, is CS fundamental, which is very important because these are asked pretty much all the time in technical interview. So the four major subjects for CS fundamentals are operating system, object oriented programming, computer networks, and database management system and SQL in DBMS database management system. So these are the four major subjects that you need to learn. So where will you learn? Geeks or Geeks. Geeks or Geeks has notes of all of these subjects. You can read the notes, you can prepare notes yourself. And then one great resource is last minute notes. So Geeks for Geeks has last minute notes of all of these subjects, operating system, object oriented programming, computer network, and DBMS. So Geeks for Geeks has last minute notes. You can learn from there. Just make your own notes, read the topics carefully, and that will be enough. And in case you don't understand any topic or any concept, go on YouTube and watch one and lecture. So a great channel on YouTube is Gate Smasher. So Gate Smasher has playlist of all of these CS subjects. So you can watch a video or watch a lecture of Gate Smasher on YouTube in case you don't understand something. Then the most important thing is solve the top interview questions. So for CS fundamentals, these companies don't devise new questions. They don't ask new questions, but they have a set of questions they ask again and again. And a lot of questions gets repeated. So just go on Google and type top interview questions for operating system, top interview questions for object oriented programming. Top interview questions for database management system. So once you learn the top interview questions, then there's a high chance that the same question might be asked to you. Because like I said, they don't ask new questions, but generally questions from the same topics are repeated. So either, either the same question or same type of questions might be asked to you. So read top interview questions from Google, from whatever website. Okay. Now, once you've understood what to learn, once you've learned that the correct way, then the next thing is what to do before the interview. So suppose you have technical round of a company coming up. Suppose you have Goldman Sachs technical round coming up. Then what to do just before that? So the most important thing at that time is interview experience. Okay. So learn from the interview experience of others. So you can Google interview experience and Geeks for Geeks has interview experience archive of almost every major company. You can learn from here as well. So you'll notice that some companies have a fixed pattern, you know, so they ask the same type of questions. They ask from either same subjects over and over again. There's sometimes there's a fixed pattern. Okay. And these companies don't change their pattern. So whatever is there in interview experience, focus a bit more on that because there's a high chance that the same type of questions might be asked to you. So if a company is asking a lot of DSA problems, then there's a high chance that you'll also be asked DSA problems. Suppose a company is asking puzzles, then there's a high chance that you'll also be asked puzzles in your interview. Okay. So whatever is there in inter interview experience, make sure that you put some extra effort into that. Because like I said, you might be asked same type of thing in your interview. Now, after that, if you still have time, then you can give mock interviews. This is again optional, but if you have time, you can ask your friends to take mock interview. You can ask your seniors to take your mock interview. And that will be like a good practice for everything that you learned so far. Now, after everything that you've learned, after you've learned all of this, there's one more thing that I want to put emphasis on and that is confidence. Okay. So obviously your skills matter, but also your confidence matters in the interview. So when you're sitting in front of the interviewer, how confident you are in yourself, how confident you are in your projects, your resume, your skills, 
that matters a lot okay and how well you articulate the answer to the problems that he's asking you how well you explain your thought process that all matters a lot okay so be comfortable be confident keep a smile on your face and be able to articulate your answers to the interviewer okay and i guarantee you once you learn the appropriate skills carefully and once you're confident in the interview then you'll be able to crack the technical round of any company it's not very difficult but you just need the right strategy you just need the right approach so that's pretty much it if there's anything that you want to ask me about this or about anything else then feel free to leave it in the comments i'll be sure to answer as soon as possible and make sure to check my placement preparation playlist which will have everything that you need to learn in order to crack the top companies in order to crack your dream placement so that's all like i said if you have anything leave it in the comments thank you